All right, so let me uh, briefly cover Easter. All right, so this is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And you'll notice that Easter is found only one time in the Bible. In Acts 12, verse 4. And it reads, and, he, and when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to the four quadriminians, or whatever, of soldiers, quadrants of soldiers, so shoulders, soldiers, to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Now, there are people that are void of logic who will say this is not Passover, that this is a pagan festival or a pagan holiday. These people are completely void of logic. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this real simple. All right, so if we go and we look at the word Passover, 72 times. Now, if this is really that important to you, I would definitely recommend reading every single mention of the Lord of uh, the Passover and understanding that the Passover is um, when the angels would pass over the people, and if you didn't have blood smeared on your door, then. Uh, you were destroyed. And so having uh, the blood covering you <laughs> uh, gives you life, preserves you, if you will. Um, without the blood, you can't survive. I mean, this is, this sound familiar, right? And so the blood of Jesus covers all. Right? And that's why he laid down his life, because his blood covers all. all right. And so the Passover um, is uh, a tradition, if you will, all the way up to the time of Jesus. And so Jesus has made a Passover for us. Okay. And and that was this is great. And that was pr the preparation of the Passover. So Jesus, uh, they were preparing Jesus to be the Passover, and they didn't even know it. But anyways, um, so like 1 Corinthians, for even Christ, our Passover is, sacri is sacrificed for us. All right, so Jesus is our Passover. Okay, one thing you'll notice when you read every single one of these, uh, in particular, you want to, you know, go just to the New Testament, because obviously the Passover has not been fulfilled until Jesus Christ laid down his life. All right, so 26 mentions in the New Testament. Just go over each one of these, and you'll see that every single time the Passover is mentioned, it is mentioned in the context of pre-death of Jesus, right? So there's never a mention of Passover post-death of Jesus, okay? So this word in, in Acts 12, some people will say that it should be Passover, and in other languages, it is Passover instead of Easter. 
Yeah, I'm not going to get hung up on saying that's incorrect because I don't. I only speak one language. All right, but this word Easter is correct because it is a fulfilled Passover. So there is no longer a Passover. That's why the the need to have another word that means the fulfillment of the Passover, which is Jesus Christ. All right, so. The King James Bible got it right. And if the other Bible versions are still calling it Passover, then they're essentially saying Jesus wasn't the Passover, or they're incorrectly wording this verse at best. Okay. Intending after the Passover. Intending after Easter. Easter is the fulfilled Passover, because Jesus fulfilled it for us.